I was born on August 28, 1997 with my twin sister, Alex. It wasn't long before in 1999 we got a baby brother, Connor. Even though we're a bit strange, we've always gotten along. It's always been the three of us against the world. No one could hurt us without facing the wrath of the other two. We all felt a bit out of place in day-to-day -day life, and I think that's why Harry Potter was such a comfort to us. Harry never fit in anywhere in his life until he went to Hogwarts. For those of you that aren't familiar with Harry Potter, I'm highly disappointed in you. J.K. Rowling's famous stories follow a young boy named Harry who finds out on his 11th birthday that he is a wizard who survived a killing curse by the evil Lord Voldemort. He's whisked away to a magical school named Hogwarts where he meets his two best friends Hermione and Ron, and together they learn magic spells and potions and work together to defeat Voldemort and his Death Eaters. I have memories of sitting on the couch with my mother and sister while Mom reads us the first few chapters of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the first book in the series. Connor would sit with us sometimes and listen to Mom as well, even though he wasn't nearly as enraptured as Alex and I were. It felt as if we were at Hogwarts alongside Harry. These books served as an escape for us, as we were able to run around pretending we were the characters, and we were special in one way or another. What child doesn't want to believe that there's something different about them, something unique? The Wizarding World was enchanting. It was as if every time our mom opened the pages of the book, we were entering a different universe filled with witches and wizards, goblins and ghosts, giants, and all sorts of magical creatures. Harry Potter shaped my childhood. My best friend, besides of course my twin sister, is a girl named Haley. Alex Haley and I all went to the same elementary school in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and our friendship was forged on the playground as we talked about Harry Potter. We would play make-believe and insert ourselves into the books as the characters. Ever since then, we've been inseparable. To this day, we remain the closest of friends. These stories were so significant for me because they not only supplied a world for me to escape into when I was having a bad day, but they shaped my real-life world into something magical. I have memories of jumping up and down when I read a segment from the third book explaining that Harry could live with his godfather, Sirius. I remember sitting on the couch with my head buried in my mom's shoulder while I cried because one of my favorite characters had died in the seventh book. I remember staying out late to see the movies with Alex and Haley, and I remember dressing up as Hermione Granger for Halloween. I remember sitting at my fifth grade teacher's desk and talking with him about the sixth Harry Potter book and how one of the other students had spoiled the ending for me. I wish I could put into words just how special Harry Potter was to me. I can't imagine what life would be like without the books. To this day, I bring my copy of the seventh book with me whenever I leave home for any length of time so that I have at least one comforting book with me. In a way, Harry Potter was the spark that started my love for reading. I don't have a single bookshelf that isn't overflowing with books of all genres, and I spend hours talking with friends about books I'm reading, have read, or want to read. As a student teacher, I loved helping my kids find a book at the library and see them grow and love literature just as much as I did at their age. It warms my heart to see them caught up in a story and loving every second of it. And, I can honestly say, it all started with a boy who lived under the stairs.